Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this third part of the video series, I will show you how to do texture of this antique teapot 3D model in Substance Painter. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I will recommend you to watch that video, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling and UV unwrapping of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the links of the videos in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. Go to File and click on New. From here, I will choose 2K Resolution. Select the FBX file that you have exported out from Maya. Set the template as PBR Metallic Roughness. Then click on OK. Now, go to Texture Set Settings, scroll down, and click on Bake Textures. From here, I will turn off the ID map and set the output size as 2K. Then click on Bake Textures. Now delete this layer and create a fill layer. Then change the color something like this and set the metallic all the way to 1. I will rename this layer as Base Color. Then right click on this layer and choose Add Fill. From here, turn off all the channels except Roughness. Then click on this Roughness tab and search for Grunge 015. Now double click on this effect. Then play with the settings and see what looks best for you. After that, right click on Base Color layer and select Add Filter. From here, turn off Color, Height and Metal. And keep only Roughness and Normal. Now, click on this filter and search for Matte Finish Rough. And then double click on this effect. Now then, play with these settings and see what looks best for you. Then click on Custom Grunge and here search for Moisture Noise. Double click on this effect. I will change the environment map to Studio underscore 03. This environment light setup will look good for what I want to achieve. Now then, go to Layers, and create a fill layer. I will rename it as Dirt. From here, turn off Height and Normal. Then keep the color to black, and the rest will keep it as default. Now, right-click on this Dirt layer, and choose Add Black Mask. Then again, right-click on this layer, and choose Add Generator. Now, click on this Generator, and here search for NG Mask Editor. Then double-click on this effect. Now, adjust these settings and see what looks best for you. Then click on Texture, and here, search for Dirt 1. Adjust the settings here as per your choice. Then click on Texture Secondary, and here, search for Grunge Rust Fine. Now, adjust the settings if needed. After that, create a fill layer. I will rename it as Details. Now for this, I will turn off Color, Metal and Normal channels. And then give Roughness to 0.65. Now, right-click on this Dirt layer and choose Add Black Mask. Then again, right-click on this layer and choose Add Generator. Now, click on this Generator and here search for NG Mask Editor. Then double-click on this effect. Adjust these settings as per your choice. Then click on this texture, and here search for Grunge 012. Double click on this effect and adjust the settings as you need. Now click on Texture Secondary, and here search for Gaussian Spots. Then double click on this effect. And then adjust the settings as per your choice. After that, create a fill layer. I will rename it as Damages. From here, turn off Normal. And set a color something like this. For height I will set it negative 0.02. For roughness 0.2. And for metallic set it 1. Now, right click on this layer and choose Add Black Mask. 
Then again, right-click on this layer, and choose, Add Generator. Now, click on Generator, and select MG Mask Editor. Adjust these settings as per your choice. Then click on Texture Secondary, and here, search for Grunge 009. Double-click on this effect. And then, adjust the settings. After that, change the blending mode of this generator layer, to Linear Dodge. Now, create a layer. And I will rename it as, Sharpen. Then right-click on this layer, and choose, Add Filter. From here, turn off Height and Normal. Now, click on this filter, and from here, search for Sharpen. Double-click on this effect. And set Sharpen Intensity to 0.5. Then change the blending mode of this sharpen layer to pass through. Then create a folder, and then select all the layers, by holding shift key, then drag and drop them to the folder. I will rename this layer as main material. Now, select this layer, and press ctrl D to duplicate the layer. I will rename this layer as main material body. Now then, create a folder, then drag and drop this layer to the folder. I will rename it as body. Now, right-click on this layer, and select add black mask. Then select polygon fill tool. From properties tab, choose UV, and set the color as white. Then select the body of the model. Now, create a fill layer inside the body folder. Then from here, turn off all the channels, except height, and set the height to 0.5. Now then, right-click on this layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Again right-click on this layer, and then choose, Add Fill. Now, click on Grayscale, and from here, search for Gradient Linear 2. Then double-click on this effect. Then increase the UV scale to 30. And I will set the UV rotation to 185, so that these patterns become straight. After that, select the main material folder, and duplicate it. And I will rename it as main material cap. Now, create a folder, then drag and drop this layer to the folder. I will rename it as cap. Now then, right-click on this folder, and choose, add black mask. Select polygon fill tool, set this to UV, and color to white. And then, drag and select these cap parts. Now, create a fill layer inside this folder. From here, turn off all the channels, except height. And set the height to 0.6. Then, right-click on this layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Again right-click, and choose, Add Fill. Now, click on Grayscale, and from here, search for Fabric Square Sharp. Double-click on this effect. You can also find these effects in Procedurals from Shelf tab. You can search over here, and then drag and drop to the Grayscale. Now I will increase the UV scale to 8. And set the UV rotation to 225. I will rename these layers, as Patterns. The top portion of the cap is not looking good, so I will select this cap folder, go to Polygon Fill Tool, from here, choose Polygon Fill, and set the color to black. Then drag these top parts from the model, and it will deselect the portions from this pattern folder. Now then, select this body folder, and duplicate it. I will rename it as Neck. Now, select Polygon Fill Tool, set the color to black and choose UV. Then select the body of the model. Now set the color to white. And then, drag and select this neck portion of the model. Now, expand this neck folder, select the gradient layer, and from here, set UV rotation to 80. And UV scale to 20. And set the tiling to 2. Now select the pattern layer, and here, reduce the height to 0.3. Now I will adjust the color similar to the body of the model. 
Now then, select the main material folder and duplicate it. Then create a folder. I will rename this folder as main material handle. Then drag and drop it to the new folder. I will rename this one as handle. Then right click on this layer and choose add black mask. Now select polygon tool and then select the handle portion of the model. After that, create a fill layer inside the handle folder. And from here, turn off all the channels except height. And set the height to 0.4. Now, right click on this layer and choose Add Black Mask. Again, right click on the layer and choose Add Fill. Then click on the grayscale and from here, search for Fibers 1. Double click on this effect. Now then, set the UV scale to 50. And set the UV rotation to 110. Select this handle folder. Then select Polygon Fill Tool. Choose Polygon Fill and set the color to black. Then select those portions from the model that you don't want to apply this patterns, like this. Now, go to Render View. Then from here, you can play with the render settings and see what looks best for you. If you are happy with the settings, then set the render time, and after the render is done, save your render image in your PC. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.